Latest news on the treatment for depression, addiction, or sleep disorders? Now you can go online at AmericanHealthJournal.com. Thousands of videos straight from doctors. Now we turn our attention to a family of proteins called fibroblast growth factor. This important protein factor has anti-aging and healing specialists taking notice for its role in improved health. We spoke with clinical nutritionist Dr. Stephen Petrosino. He believes FGF may hold a key to unlocking healing for a range of symptoms, from joint pain and poor quality hair, skin, and nails, to poor sleep, low energy, low libido, and even depression. And fibroblast growth factor is essentially a factor that directs uh, some uh, and orchestrates uh, some of the development of undifferentiated stem cells. And uh, st stem cells are what are called pluripotent cells. They essentially can become anything. A stem cell doesn't know if it's going to become part of the liver or part of the eye or part of the muscle in your arm. Uh, but at one point, there are directions that are given to that undifferentiated stem cell, and that stem cell then differentiates into that particular organ or tissue. And so fibroblast growth factor, or FGF, plays a role in the direction of those undifferentiated stem cells into becoming what they ultimately will become. One of the reasons we believe that uh, fibroblast growth factor is beneficial in areas of damage is that uh, when fibroblast growth factor uh, can direct uh, the development of stem cells to repair tissue, uh, that, uh, that helps with a uh, repair of damage that occurs perhaps in the brain, in the heart, or other parts of uh, body tissues. Fibroblast growth factor is present uh, in areas of the body where there's damage, and they're involved in the healing process and also in uh, the uh, importance of stem cells. Research on FGF began over 80 years ago when it was discovered to exist in a surprisingly common whole food source. Dr. Davidson uh, was a uh, renowned medical doctor that uh, practiced in Canada uh, from the late 1920s into the 1940s. And his research uh, uh, was done primarily with fertilized eggs. And uh, he actually found a process by which uh, an extract of the white of a fertilized uh, hen's egg was freeze-dried and he used that extract to treat patients with cancer and was finding remarkable success. About 50 years later, other researchers in Norway uh, found by serendipity this research and uh, added to it and the end result is the product we know as laminine. There was uh, uh, a seminal or early study that was done on fibroblast gro uh, growth factor or FGF that was published in the Journal of Science way back in, I believe, 1962. And uh, that particular study showed that uh, fibroblast growth factor concentrates in areas of the body that are undergoing, uh, have undergone damage. Uh, that study looked at areas of the brain and found that where there was damage, like a stroke, fibroblast growth factor would concentrate in the area of the damage to assist in the repair.